I had this sent to me from BPA Racing. It is a motorcycle chain slack adjuster tool. They wanted me to test it out, see how I like it. They say that this will help you set your chain slack perfect every single time. Let's try it out. There is a perfect amount of slack that you're looking for on your motorcycle chain. If it's too loose, then it could risk falling off. It's also gonna slap around a lot, which is gonna cause more wear on the chain and sprocket, as well as it could break easier. So that's not good. If your chain breaks at a high rate of speed, it could cause damage to you or your bike. It could crack the engine case or it could cause a wreck. If you're heading towards a 70 foot supercross triple and the chain breaks, then you're looking at a, <laughs> a bad case or endo and a trip to the hospital. So you don't want that. If the chain is too tight, that's not good either because every time you land, the suspension compresses and it tugs on the chain. It tightens the chain, which is going to tug on the front sprocket which is connected to your engine so uh, you're putting a lot of more pressure on the engine so you don't want that so what is the perfect amount of slack that you want for your bike you're gonna have to check the manual okay so the manual on this TC 85 says incorrect chain tension damages components and results in accidents kind of what I just said if the chain is tensioned too much, the chain engine sprocket, rear sprocket, transmission, and rear wheel bearings wear more quickly. I guess I didn't think about the bearings. If the chain is too loose, the chain may fall off. As a result, the rear wheel locks and the engine will be damaged. Check the chain tension regularly. Okay, so it says the chain tension should be 46 to 49 millimeters or 1.81 to 1.93 inches. Okay, so this tape measure doesn't have millimeters. It almost doesn't even have inches. The two's almost gone, but I think we can figure it out. Uh, we're going to call it just under two inches. It's 1.93 inches. So we'll just say just under two inches. All right, this is about two and a quarter inches. So this one is too loose. So check this thing out here. BPA stands for Best Power Sports Accessories. Must be pretty good then. Dear Ryder, thank you for your purchase. The whole BPA team wishes you the most amazing, adventurous, and always safe rides. Please remember if you need any help at all, we are always available to share our knowledge with you and answer any questions. Now ready to hit the road. Wait, now ready to hit the road? Okay, so we got we got a keychain, we got a wrench, we got a Allen key, we got the the tool. The tool. All right, so I didn't mention this before, but how you check your chain tension, you wanna make sure it's on the stand, put it on the stand, lift up right here. The gap in between the bottom of the chain and the swing arm is what you're looking for. Ours is about uh, two and a quarter inches. So this chain is too loose. just under two inches the chain tensioners are even on both sides okay so now we have the chain set at the perfect tension so now we're able to set this tool to line up with this set tension so for now on we'll never have to second guess we'll never have to eye it out we'll be able to use this to know for sure that the tension is set right all right so i believe this slip goes over and this one under and then this one over. We're gonna use this tool they gave us to loosen here. That's exactly where we want it, right there, pointing up straight at true north. When these markers line up, you know you're good. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to look like to tell us that the chain is properly set. If it was loose, this would be pointing this way. If it was tight, it would be pointing that way. Okay, so let's do an experiment. Let's loosen the chain so we see how that looks, how that lines up. Okay, so I tried to loosen up the chain a little bit, but I loosened it up a lot, but that's okay. We loosened it to the extreme for demonstration purposes. So let's see what this does different. Uh, over, under, over. 
that is too far to the left. So see that right there. So it's too far to the left. Let's see what happens when we tighten this chain up. How this reacts to it. And that is too tight right there. Just a little bit off pointing to the right. So I think that tells us that it's too tight. Um, so cool. So it works, I guess. So when it's too tight, it goes that way. When it's too loose, it goes that way. When it's right in the sweet spot, you're good to go. So, all right, let's set this thing up. Good to go then. All right, well, I guess I could say that this tool works. It does its job. It tells you uh, when your chain is is uh, set properly. The disadvantage, I guess I'd say, is the disadvantage is that uh, if you have multiple bikes, if you're running different bikes with um, different specs, then you're gonna need one for, for each of the bikes. But once you have it set and uh, once you know how to use it, it's very simple to use. I'm sure a lot of people probably think that they could just eye it out. They just can tell by looking at the chain if it's too tight or too loose. But um, you know, if that's you, if you just like to eye it, then what happens if you suck at eyeing it? You know, did you ever think about that? Like what if you are really bad at eyeing it and no one wants to tell you? Maybe everyone's just too afraid to tell you how much you suck at eyeing it. But guess what? This is not afraid to tell you how much you suck.